Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 and a half R-Pod 202 by Forest River RV. This is a brand new floor plan with a completely brand new look for the mid-year model change. So you'll see new fiberglass and graphics, new wood color, new flooring, and new furniture colors all in this video. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside and the outside of the RV. Alright guys, we're now up inside the brand new R-Pod 202 model. We are looking toward the rear of the coach as this is a rear kitchen front bedroom that you've seen there from the floor plan that popped up. Now this particular unit was ordered with the standard booth dinette. So the booth dinette will fold down and make it into a bed. There is also some storage you can see underneath of each dinette seat. Now they do have an option for a sofa and that sofa does have a little kick out footrest on it as well. So you can get it either way. On the back wall back there you do have overhead cabinets above the sink area there. Nice big window overlooking the back of the RV there. And the window does open. Even the ones in the slide opened as well. Large single bowl basin sink with the high rise faucet. Two burner stove top with the glass lid that flips up and kind of acts as a backsplash as well. Some storage down below the sink. You have your microwave slash convection oven. And below that is the return for the furnace. So the furnace is right directly underneath of that. Now the furnace is ducted through some of the cabinet work. You can see the little round vent there underneath of the refrigerator. Along with your little pet friendly bowls down there as well. Now refrigerator wise, this is the 6.3 cubic foot Dometic gas and electric refrigerator. So it'll work off propane or electricity, either one. You're also seeing new wood. So we have new wood color, we have new floor color, and we also have brand new furniture color. Now entry door, pretty cool. You seen when we kind of did our little quick walk around, spin around of the RV there, didn't look like it had a window in it, just kind of looked like a black mirror door. But there is actually a window in that. I'll give you a little better close up of that when we get to the outside. Traditional screen door as well. Now right here you do have a nice large deep storage compartment right here as well. Flat screen TV. Below that is going to be some of your controls. So you have an electric outlet, you have some USB charger ports, but you also have your monitor panel your water heater on gas button, and your water pump switch. To the left of that is going to be your slide in and out, your awning in and out, and some light switches as well. Down below you have the pretty cool little electric fireplace. So you have a 31 inch graystone electric fireplace. It's basically a fancy electric space heater, but it's pretty cool in an RV. Um, to the left over there in the corner is going to be your electric box with your breakers and fuses. And then you have some more cabinet space. Again, nice big deep cabinet across the top with a hanging bar. Spinning around, kind of looking toward the front section here. On the wall on the left there, you have the sticker telling you about the pre-wire for solar panel. So that is where the wire is ran to, just above the air conditioner thermostat, the furnace thermostat there. So you have a digital thermostat that runs your air conditioner or your propane furnace. The air conditioner in this is a ducted air conditioning system, which is pretty nice upgrade unit is a little bit larger than the other models obviously so it can support a ducted air easier um, down below your propane leak detector and also an electric outlet there on the wall 
Now the door to the bathroom is a sliding pocket door which slides across and catches with a magnetic holder. We're going to pop up some pictures of the bathroom area here as well, just so it's a little easier to see. But you do have a foot flush toilet, pretty good sized shower with the shower curtain area that pulls across there. The ABS tub surround just to kind of protect the walls from water and stuff. There's a skylight above the shower and you also have a nice turbo exhaust fan to exhaust out all that shower moisture. See the air conditioning duct up in there. And panning down the other side here, you have your linen closet area right there. A couple drawers down below. Some storage under the sink as well. And then you do have your central vac, which is basically a dustpan vac. So you sweep everything across the linoleum floor into the vacuum. You can purchase aftermarket hoses for the vac, but it does not come with them from the factory. We're gonna walk on through here and spin back around just to show you the bathroom from the other side here. Pop up some more pictures for you again. Again guys, thanks for checking out the videos. Really, really appreciate it. Hopefully you find some value in these and they help just kind of show you the new stuff that we're trying to get you all up to date with. Now on back around here into the bedroom area. So looking again toward the back of the coach, but at the foot of the bed area, you do have a pretty large area for a TV. And you got some little shelving and stuff there as well. Window on both sides of the bed and those windows do actually open. Plenty of room to maneuver around the bed as well. So you have a walk around camper queen bed here. There is an electric outlet and USB charger ports on both sides of the bed. Hanging closet and shelf on both sides of the bed as well. You can obviously see there that the hanging closets do have some LED backlighting. In them. Your heat vent down there on the wall. And there's also, again, air conditioning duct in here, along with a speaker in here as well. Now this bed does raise up as well, so you can uh, easily store a lot of different stuff under there. Pretty cool new model, again, for the R-Pod lineup, guys. We're gonna head outside. I'm gonna walk you around, show you all about that. And we're gonna come back inside, close this slide out up, and show you what that looks like as well. All right, guys, we are now back on the outside of this brand new 2021 and a half R Pod 202 travel trailer. And as we talked about earlier, all new look, even for the outside of the RV. So we're going to start here in the front section and kind of work our way around and then we'll close it up show you what it looks like closed. Now starting here in the front, you can obviously see new graphics package and colors. So you have a white base front with some new vinyl graphics, lower diamond plate, power tongue jack, single 20 pound propane tank with the hard bottle cover. There's room for one or two batteries, depending on the battery size and type you go with, but uh, it does come standard with one deep cycle interstate battery from Couches RV Nation when you purchase from them. It comes with zero from the RV manufacturer when they sell them to the dealers. So definitely make sure you get at least one, if not two, depending on what you want. Um, standard safety chains, seven-way barman plug with your lighting and brakes all kind of normal breakaway cable but it has gone on this model to a two and five sixteenths hitch ball where the other smaller r pods were only a two inch hitch ball so one of the ways to kind of remember that two axles bigger ball up front here in the uh lower frame section that little red box is your battery disconnect
Going down the side of the RV here, again, all new look on the side as well. So again, you have the white base fiberglass. You have kind of a honeycomb effect in the middle, and then a lower part is a gray. So a pretty cool little look to it, kind of fading in and out there. They also redid the frog now. So you have a little lazy frog chilling by the tree, eating some bees it looks like there. So a little different uh, frog guy on the RV. Pass through storage going all the way across the front. Now those uh, baggage doors are held up by little magnetic clips instead of plastic clips. So you don't have to worry about them breaking like you do the plastic ones. And also you kind of see in that storage compartment the uh, aluminum tube framing for your bed frame and stuff like that. The unit has a power awning. This is a traditional power RV awning uh, where the smaller R pods do the Tully power awning or you can on some models get the R dome which is only on like the small like 171 and those models. Um, power awning is manually doable to run it in and out in case of a power failure. The arms are adjustable and tiltable for water runoff. Again, this is the first R-Pod to do dual axle. And you still have the upgraded Torsion Flex axle as a standard on the R-Pod, where a lot of dual axle units to save money go to a leaf spring style. So they kept their better axle system even on the bigger model here. And from what I'm being told, you're probably gonna find a few more double axle R-Pods roll out next year as well but this is kind of their first adventure into the dual axle with the r-pod even though the same people in charge also make surveyor which do all kinds of dual axle stuff but pretty cool that r-pod's getting into it now too now down below here you can see your propane hookup for your grill and you can also see underneath of there the enclosed underbelly and the torsion flex axles now here you do have your little outside kitchen area pretty neat little setup um, you can break all this out or just leave it all put up so that you can just get to the mini fridge if you want. But you have your little suburban uh, griddle there. You do have a little dump sink here with a little sprayer faucet. And you got your little electric mini fridge. Now that fridge is just strictly electric. It does not work off of propane. Now another thing I kind of was looking at here too is the tires are wider than the body. Yeah, you know, that's a good thing in some aspects as far as, um, you know, wind pushing you sideways, tipping you over kind of thing. It's nice to have a little bit wider stance than the body. But also, too, that puts on this heavy-duty little metal uh, tire frame here, tire cover, whatever you want to call it, fender skirt. And that kind of acts as a place to set things as well, too. So if you are out here kind of cooking, you could set some stuff on that where you can't on the ones that the tires are recessed under the body. So just a little thought there. Um, you do have the nicer, more ride steps going in and out of this coach. And that comes down, touches the ground, holds up to 500 pounds, so heavier duty rating than the old hover step. And also it's adjustable, so you can adjust those feet. The door is actually new as well. So you have a new solid black door that does have a window in it, but kind of crazy. Doesn't look like it has a window in it, but it actually does. So pretty cool little look to it. Large folding entry handle. And then right there by the door, you also have your model number and the Asdale onboard sticker as well. That's a pretty cool feature and upgrade to how fiberglass is installed on an RV. It's not put on by Luon board. It's actually installed onto the Asdale, which is a man-made composite material that doesn't rot and mold and mildew like Luon would if it leaks. So that's a really nice improvement. Uh, less op uh, chance on anything delaminating over time. six gallon gas electric water heater in the lower corner right here and you also have your little pet friendly leash hook down below as well 
Now on the back of the camper, you have a typical four inch square tube bumper. That's where a lot of people do store their dump hose. The access panel there on the right for maintenance of the refrigerator and stuff as well. Pre-wire up top in the center there for observation or backup camera system. You have a ladder on the back so you can climb up on the roof. It is a full walk on roof up there so you could get up there, check things out, maintain it. It also has the nicer tough ply roof which has a 15 year warranty. So that's three years longer than the traditional rubber roof or TPO roof that you find on a lot of RVs. So a better roof material warranty. Uh, roof is arched for better water runoff as well. And the furnace exhaust out the back as well. Detachable power cord here in this back corner, along with your cable and satellite inlets there. Now just below the slide out there is the gray tank for your kitchen. So you do technically have two dumps on this model as the kitchen area is in the back, the bathroom's more toward the front, and it's too hard to cross the piping across the axle system without risking them breaking as it bounces down the road. So they are separated and that's the main reason why, because the unit's not jacked up like some of these real big travel trailers where it has the big gap between it. So that is the reasoning for that. Um, the slide out is an electric slide, Schwintech slide mechanism to run it in and out, or in wall slide as it's now referred to, or it used to just be called Schwintech. Um, the slide is also prepped. There's little brackets up there for slide out awning toppers. So that is by Solaire also. Now just in front of the tires is gonna be your black tank flush. So you can hook up the hose and flood your toilet tank and rinse it out. Just below that is your gray and black tank second dump for the bathroom area. So you got a toilet tank to dump and you have a shower and sink water tank to dump as well. The other side of the storage compartment right here. Now I did take this apart. I wanted to show you this while I had this apart. Um, your water pump for winterization is right here, directly behind the freshwater tank fill. So there's a winterizing kit, your water pump right here, there's a little strainer back there, but there's a panel that I took off that goes right there. But I wanted to show you that because everybody always asks, where is that when I go to winterize my camper? And I took it apart just to find out for you. Your bypass for the uh, water heater again that we talked about inside was below the fridge now we're going to pop up here some weight stickers you're going to see your dry weight sticker pop up your gross vehicle weight sticker your tire sticker and your carrying capacity stickers as well Again, guys, thank you for checking out my video. We're gonna go inside and close it up real quick, but I wanted to again thank you for checking out these videos, especially on these new models like this. I think everybody's pretty excited about this new floor plan, really cool, biggest R-Pod made so far. More to come for sure. We're gonna run inside here and close her up, show you what it looks like. All right, guys, we are back inside the RV here, and I wanted to show you what it looks like closed. And again, the slide button here is on this little wall just below the TV area. But you push the button to bring this room in. Now you can stop part of the way in or out. So I just kind of let off the button there, just wanted to show you what that looks like. So you can kind of see, we're not totally in here. But to bring it the rest of the way in, just hit the button again. And we're all the way in. So one of the things I did also notice, again, this one has the dinette feature. 
and the dinette feature sticks out flush to the floor but on the sofa feature you could kind of see in the picture we popped up there earlier the sofa feature doesn't come all the way out to the edge of the slide out floor which would technically give you a few more inches here to squeeze past this slide into the bathroom area now i can still kind of squeeze in here some but it's a little tight and of course i am a bigger guy but you know that is a little bit tight kind of going in and out of there but i would have a few more inches to do so with the sofa it's one of the things i just happened to notice as i've kind of been going in and out of these new ones here not sure if that matters to you but that would allow you to stop at a rest area and get in there a little bit easier all right guys just wanted to show you that again thank you a lot uh, please be sure to like share subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos uh, definitely hit the like button if you found some value guys appreciate it a lot